Greetings and salutations! My name is JD, and thank you for tuning in to Twisted Strands, uh, episode 106. I <coughs> want to cough on you for a minute. No, um, <laughs> want to apologize for all the delays in podcasting. One week was due to mental illness, and the second was due to illness illness I had a really god awful cold and it was nasty and I still have a bit of a throat and stuff I was gonna record yesterday but my voice was giving out and but I'm here I'm back I ain't going nowhere rejoice or uh, repent your ways for that as you may and this episode is brought to you by Anderson Valley Summer Solstice. How appropriate that the solstice was last week. And it's got a really funny mascot. A bear with deer antlers. And that is funny. And despite the funniness, it is a decent, decent ale. Yes, ale. And I like it. It's it's flavorful without too heavy of a feeling. It's still a lighter ale than and it, it's not quite Sierra Nevada IPA. It's not as heavy as a dark ale. It's not a red. Um, what this says it has is rich copper color floating a lacy white head. Uh, rich aroma of Martin Car- malt and caramel creamy satin smooth body envelops a pleasantly sweet caramel flavor and is with a subtle subtly spicy hit and if you believe that i've got a bridge to sell you nevertheless it is a good beer and i do like it on the pricey side 10 ish for a six pack But it goes down easy, is tasty. I cannot for the life of me tell what it smells like. Bad nose cold. Right up there and it sucks. But anyway, while I've been sick, I have been working on things. Let me get to my work. Yes, we will be doing a review of this. Let's see, what have I been working on? Oh, clearly I've been hooking away for the skull shawl, and I can never produce this... No, that's the wrong thing entirely. (laughs) I ought to podcast more often, I'm sure you agree. Let me go into my projects here on Ravelry and light up my pasty white face for your enjoyment with the big screen. Let's see, Skull Shawl. And the name on her is Kungin Ok Majkis. It's a a mouthful for me and I'm a goober. But hey, (laughs) whatever, it is a free pattern and we are doing that crochet along I think what shall be given away is my gorgeous lamb knee. And that's the sport weight. Sadly, I forgot how many yards, but I did write it down. So if anybody is bold enough and hooky enough to finish this, they will get entered into a prize drawing for this is woolly. That's what it is. It's probably not next to the skin soft, but it is pretty cool. And it might soften. I'll wash it up before I send it out to you. That's the gift for the crochet along. Don't you want to start it now? I bet you do. Because look at this. Not only can you be entered into a running for some gorgeous hand spun yarns by yours truly. But you end up with that. I love this yarn. I wish this young lady still died. 
But anyway, you end up with an awesome freaking shawl. This is a lot of hard work, a lot of deduction, <laughs> and a lot of rereading and printing and stuff went into the shawl. I'm sure it shows. I have commissioned my friend to dye up some more yarn. That is like this. I hope she can do it because I'd hate to stop this short because it is so cool. And while reading the pattern is a great big huge pain in the ass, it really is only, you know, you only need to do slip stitches, double crochet stitches, US terms, and single crochet, and chaining. Seriously, folks, that's all you have to do. And, of course, I'm open to helping anybody with questions about this. There is a thread going on in both my group and Ravelry and also with the, the lovely Chaotic Cooker. And in her group, Chaotic and Crafty, she's got a podcast and this is a joint crochet along with her and she's doing it as well and she needs to put up a picture please and so it'll be pretty pretty cool I hope to see some pictures popping up soon I'm thinking we need to extend this into July what do you think let me know if I should extend it to July all right and what else am I working on I just started this today. This is a grandma's favorite dishcloth using ah oh yes, peaches and cream denim ombre, I think it's called. Nope, shaded denim. A cone I got from Bridget, I think. I think that's the first cone of cotton I ever got in my life. And this is going to be gifted along with two martini dishcloths that we'll I'll be showing you in a few minutes because I finished something and that's not all I haven't touched my curse breaker shawl in quite some time I've been mad about working on this and I have someone to thank I don't know if she watches the show or anything but I had started a thread about the sad fact that glow in the dark is yarn is so very hard to find. Someone said, "Oh, maybe we can spin some or this or that," and I'm like, "Well, crap! I don't want to spin my own glow in the dark yarn. It's supposed to be fun." I do love spinning yarn, but I just don't feel like trying to too hard to get a specific weight, you know? I'm not that good at it. <laughs> um, so, anyway, one person in that thread, her name is Purple Iguana, and she may, is made of awesome and win, and she was sweet, and she actually said, look, I don't want my yarn anymore, have it. So she gave, gave me this yarn randomly, and it, of course I friended her because she won and is sweet. And now I'm making a really cute oh heck, where's the pattern? Ah, yes. Crafty Deb. I think she's Deb Ritchie. But anyway, I almost immediately chained on for a skeleton that will glow in the dark. And you can find this pattern at craftydeb.com designed by Deb Ritchie. This is the smaller skeleton that she's got, and yeah, there. So there he is. I started his skull and I did his jaw draw in one piece because I didn't see why I should make it in two. So that's his jaw, and it will go around. Like so.
Whoa, ha, 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 ha. Anyway, yes, I've been on a toy kick. So I'm making a Mr. Boney in the off time that I'm not working on the shawl or the dishcloth. And that's the basics. So being a little ill and getting bored of lying about trying to get better, I did cast on something funny. That's where I'm going to go in with finished objects. Take a seat. Mm. Yummy. And this is so freaking cute. This is by Hannah, who does all those cute mini mochi and mo Well, this is from that tiny book. I hope it captures it. <laughs> I love this little thing. Once I get a really good picture of him, I'm going to put him on my desk at work because it's just adorable. And I'm sure a quicker knitter would have finished him in a night, but it took me a few spare evenings. And yes, I added googly googly eyes to it because hell, googly eyes are cute. So he has googly eyes. So I sewed those on, and he'll be photographed properly. Little mouse has eyes, so flippin' cute. That's my finished object, my big finished object. So wee, so cute. I am gonna make more from that book, it is freaking cute. And this is something I just finished. I don't know if this is the first one or not, but they're both the same, thank heavens. <laughs> I finished the martini cup, martini glass dishcloths that I'm making for Earl. And you, as you can see, I'm doing grandmother's dishcloth just to round it out. Depends on how quickly I can do one or two of these. I mean, this is just like 10 minutes work, so I don't think it'll be too bad. I'll try for two. But unfortunately, I won't be able to show you those because I'll be gifting it before I finish, you know, do another podcast. And that is what is going on. I have not decided on what exactly will be next. And I still have to do the edging for my tank top. I will finish that this weekend. And... <clears throat> Yeah, that's, that's what's on the hooks, mostly. Mostly hooking this week. Uh, <clears throat> and yes, I'm trying to talk around a cough. <coughs> Sorry. This thing just doesn't want to leave. Sometimes I think I should call my doc and again and see him again. But I am feeling better, really, despite the whole voice wanting to jump down my, into my stomach or something. Um, no spinning done lately. Uh, and the new yarn that I am purchasing will be picked up by me tomorrow. So, and it's basically, hopefully, will look almost exactly like what I'm using so that I can make the shawl as big as I want. Which, how many scores across, I don't know. And, there, that's good. Yeah. Let's go on to Stuff and Junk, shall we? Now, clearly I've been watching a lot of television with the illness and all, and the moping, and I did see Dark Shadows starring Don Johnny Depp again. That was amusing. And I did see... Of course, it just fled my mind. Oh, I'm starting to watch Doctor Who again, even though I was devastated and made so sad by the end of season two. And so I'm picking up and watching that again. I was watching a Warehouse 13. Um, that was a marathon that was going on. So what else? What else? Oh, and I went to the Grand reopening party of Down Siller, and sadly I wasn't very impressed and it seems like they don't have very many sock yarns in the sock yarn room 
and that saddened me. I mean, they still have a banging collection of yarns, but it's less sock yarns, and that was disappointing. Because sock yarns are the one thing you can just go into a shop and say, I can't live without that. I'll pick it up and I'll knit a shawl or I'll crochet something or whatever. And they didn't have that much there. Um, what else? Oh, it's the day I say it on a lot, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go into the review of the latest Simply Knitting issue that I got in the mail. This week's free gift was really charming. It was a bunch of cute novelty buttons. Cute novelty buttons. Novel name. Bees and ladybugs. So cute. And let me just show you a quick show of what I really liked about this issue. Other than the product reviews. The product reviews are fun, but unfortunately sometimes you cannot get that stuff in America. Only the UK. Unless you are an eBayer and you can find it. <laughs> anyway, I thought these were really sweet. Cute gift ideas. It's not in Target. It's all duplicate stitch. And if I want to be snarky, I'd say... Someone who did this uh, samples kind of sucked at duplicate stitching. Yes, I'm sorry. But anyway, it, it looks like a simple, cute gift knit. Oh, this was charming. Okay, so this woman named Sue knit a gorgeous, what is it, cardigan? La la la. Yes, cardigan. She knit her son-in-law, or son, yes, son, a cardigan. And then, since she had so much yarn left over, she knit her dog a fucking matching sweater. Now tell me, is that disgustingly cute? Of course I read the reader letters. I love the letters. I love seeing what people do. Oh, and there's the star letter of the, of the month. A lady named Sandra knitted a digestive system. Isn't that brilliant? I love it. So anyway, tons of nice things in the readers column. And I was a little bit disappointed by the article that was ideas for seaside knitting. It wasn't bring an umbrella, don't get to your sons, no, nothing like that. But it does have some cute things. You know, bring a nice chair. Oh, it did say parasol. But anyway, that's cute. But anyway, I like the, I do like the everlasting ice cream that they show. Oh, and the toy looks very fiddly, but it is very impressive. King Neptune. And instead of having a mermaid bottom, he's got legs, but with fins for feet little quirky, but I liked it. I'm not going to make it, though. Alright, this is what I liked, too. I liked the six quick garden gifts. My favorite was the tote and the mug warmers. I thought they were very keen. I mean, nothing to write home about, but still pretty and quick, which is the purpose. I think my favorite is the tote. You can see that. It's very nice. And it has a fair isle vest. Ooh. And many in interviews and things about people which is engaging and fun. And this lady makes wigs out of yarn. Very interesting. And Oh, there was something else that I really liked. Oh, yes. The one pattern, three different looks. Rather nice, I think. I like the lacy one for some reason. And the stitch sampler, I think, is 
lace and it's got some pretty ribbed socks, the usual crossword puzzle and reviews of shops and all in all it's a nice issue it's not crazy run out to your store buy it everything's just so novel and exciting and crazy fun I mean decent basic issue of simply knitting really cute freebie with the buttons and oh I got the latest issue of creative knitting and it did have some banging knits I did like so I'll be showing that to you next week and all in all I think that's all I've got to say for this week plus my voice is going so <laughs> I want to oh I do have an announcement it's bad news unfortunately blip TV who has been hosting my podcast so that I may get it onto iTunes is ditching me. Yes, I am one of the few people that have gotten a bad news via email and they are closing down my account and unless I find a solution that is free or very cheap I won't be able to have the podcast as a um, what do you say won't be able to have it on iTunes anymore so you can download it and I know that's how a lot of people watch it and I'm so sorry I'm going to be definitely putting the podcast out it will just be on YouTube I will still have the blog up and you will still be able to catch it there and you will be able to of course catch it on YouTube everybody knows the address for that and via YouTube you can subscribe to my channel to get notifications of when a new one comes out and who knows maybe I'll figure out what the hell an RSS feed is and how to generate one myself I don't know I'm not exactly a computer programmer so anyway yeah Blip is a corporation and they provided the service for me for 106 episodes this one included and unfortunately without lip I don't know if I'll be able to have the have the bloody thing on iTunes anymore and I'm sorry for the inconvenience but please don't stop viewing me I mean I appreciate everybody who watches the show and you know lets me know they watch and everything like that I do love you all and and I hope you continue to watch so that's the announcement we're going to YouTube fuck the lip they won't let me stay and I don't know how to do an RSS feed and I refuse to pay for it because <laughs> I'm a cheap whore when it comes to technology and that's that. I will keep you apprised via the blog or group, whatever I can do. But those the apples. I mean it's I don't think it's because of any particular person saying I suck or anything like that. I just think that one of their people said, Hey, this lady isn't putting out a show about vampires or something. <laughs> So let's mark her off, a, off the first round of deletions or something like that. So that's that. Anyway, I hope you continue to watch me as I get up to 200 episodes. You know I will. And that's it for now. I want to thank you very much for joining me. I hope you continue to watch. And I will see you in a week. Happy crafting, everybody.